there, this is Lindsay with Off the Beaten Hook, and today we are going to be making the Jabble Chevron Blanket. I originally designed this as a baby blanket, so I have all these really fun, bright colors. Um, but the great thing about a Chevron Blanket is it can be made in so many different sizes with any color and any weight of yarn that you want, and this pattern will work with all of those. So I am going to do the tutorial based on how I designed it, which was with 100% cotton worsted weight yarn. I love this. 100% uh, cotton by Cascade Yarns. It's their nifty cotton. Um, for baby blankets, cotton is great because it's super soft. Um, it's non out, you know, it barely anybody is allergic to cotton. I don't know anybody who's allergic to cotton and it's uh, washable. So that's how I designed the blanket. But again, you can use whatever your favorite color and favorite yarn is for this blanket. So let's jump right in. For this blanket, you will need 100% cotton worsted weight yarn, several stitch markers, a size five and a half meter crochet hook, scissors, and a tapestry needle. I am going to be making the infant size blanket in this tutorial with you today in the free written pattern that I have on my blog, which I will include a link to in the description box below. I have a size chart that includes five standard size blankets all the way from infant to a throw size blanket. So today um, we're doing the infant size which includes uh, three chevrons and as it gets bigger you're making more chevrons and more rows. So if you want to do a different size blanket just check out that written pattern. All right so I am going to begin the infant um, sized blanket by chaining 102 chains. I'm going to, in this tutorial, do four rows with you. This is a repeat, um, one row repeat pattern. So you've got your foundation row where you're gonna set up your chevron and then every single row is the same after that. So we don't need to do all 70 rows together. So I'm gonna do two, uh, four rows. So I'll do two rows in one color and then I'll show you how to change colors and I'll do two rows in a second color and then show you um, some tips on how to add the pom-poms and you'll be off and on your way. So for the infant size, which includes three chevrons, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about when I'm referring to a chevron. Let's see if I can get this in the video here. All right, so one chevron is one of these Vs. So for the, this is an actu actually the baby blanket size, which has four of the chevrons. But for the infant size, it only has three chevrons. So I'll be going through um, making three of these chevrons with you. So you can see how it comes together. So go ahead and slip knot onto your hook. And again, for the infant size, we are going to chain 102. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, now I will mention at this point, so I've got 102 chains made. The repeat chevron pattern for this blanket is 33 plus three. So what that means is for however many chevrons you wanna make for your blanket, whatever size you want it to be, you're going to chain 33 for each chevron plus three additional chains at the end. So if you want two chevrons, you would chain 66 plus three. You want three chevrons you're going to chain 99 plus three so for the infant you're chaining 102 so you've got 99 plus three so if you can adjust the size of the pattern that way just know there's 33 chains for each of the chevrons right so for the very foundation row here what we're going to do is you're going to skip the very first chain and you're gonna immediately do a half double crochet decrease or a uh, half double cro crochet two together. So I do the foundation row by crocheting into the back bump versus the front of the chain. I think it creates a really nice edge 
without any weird gaps. So that's what you're going to see me do. So we're gonna skip that very first bump and I'm going to half double crochet these two together. So yarn over, half double crochet those two together. Okay, I'm going to mark that first stitch and then uh, you're going to do 15 half double crochets along the chain. One, two, three, four, Fifteen, right? So that's our first section. Now we're going to create a peak of the blanket. And in order to do your first peak, you're going to place three half double crochets into this next stitch. So one, and into the same stitch, or chain, I should say, two, and three, into that same chain. And what you're going to do to mark this and make it way easier as you go along is you're gonna place a stitch marker into that second one of the three. So the middle one, place a stitch marker there. And what this does is you, if you mark your, your peaks and your valleys, you don't have to count. You can just get into like a mindless flow and just make this blanket super quick by not having to count all the way around. You'll just know when you get to this again, next time you'll place three half double crochets into that peak. So you'll see that as we go along. All right, so, so now we're gonna go down to our valley. So we're going to 15 half double crochets. So 15 more, so we did 15 up, we did the three in one stitch, and now we're gonna go 15 down. One. Two, three, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so now to create the valley of the of the V of the chevron, we're going to half double crochet three together. So we're gonna stitch all three of these together. So here we go. One, two, three. Okay, and we're gonna mark that because that's where we're going to do our next um, decrease when we come back along this row. So I mark my valleys with purple and my peaks with green is just an easy way for me to again get into that mindless flow where I know when I get to a green I do an increase when I get to a purple I do a decrease okay so now so we did 15 up 15 down for the next up so going up to the next increase we're only going to do 14 for this next one before we get to the next increase okay so we're gonna count 14. One, two, three. Thirteen, fourteen. Okay, and that is our repeat pattern that you're going to go along and make all of your chevrons with. You're going to next, you're going to start with a uh, an increase by three half double crochets in this next stitch, which is what we did here. Then you're going to go down for 15. You're going to decrease. You're going to go up for 14. You're going to increase down for 15, decrease up for 14, increase. So that is the repeat with all your chevrons, all right? So here we are 
at the increase. So we're placing three half double crochets into this next chain. Okay. And then we're going to go down for 15. I'm sorry, I'm going to place a stitch marker there, green stitch marker. I'm stitch marking the middle one of those, that three that we just did there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go down to our next valley with 15. One, two, three, Fifteen. Now we are going to half double crochet three together. So these next three chains, we're going to half double crochet those together. So yarn over. One, two, three. Bring all those into one. I'm going to mark that with a purple stitch marker. Okay, so now we're going back up. So we're going to do 14 up, half double crochet, 14, one, two, three, 14. Okay, so we're on our last little section here. So this is our last peak. So we will place three half double crochets into that next stitch. One, two, three all together into one chain. I keep calling it a stitch, I'm sorry. I'm gonna mark that peak with a green. That middle stitch of those three that I just did gets marked with a stitch marker. All right, so we're coming back down to the other end of our blanket. So we are going to half double crochet in the next 15. One, two, three, 14, 15. At the very end, you're gonna have two chains left and you're going to half double crochet those together. So half double crochet, decrease. And into your last chain. And there you have it. You've got your first row. I'm gonna chain one. At the end of every row, you chain one and turn. I'm gonna chain it and mark this real quick and show you our progress here. I'm not gonna be able to see all of it, but at least we can see a couple of the chevrons together. So you can see how it's starting to make the shape already. And it's gonna hold that shape as you go along. So here's one chevron, two chevrons, and three chevrons. So you're going to end every row with a decrease and begin the next row with a decrease. And that allows the blanket's edge to stay going straight. All right, so we did our decrease there at the end of our foundation row, row one. I chained one, and then I'm going to turn. Your chain at the end does not count as a stitch. All right, so for every row moving forward, we are going to be crocheting into the back loop only. And that's what creates the really beautiful ribbed texture of the fabric of this blanket. Okay, so going back for row two, we are going to half double crochet decrease. Again, in the back loop only. So we're putting in this back loop here, running over, pulling up, going into the next one, yarn over, pull up. That's our decrease. I just always mark the first stitch of a row. I it's, it's habit. You don't have to if you're really good at not losing track. Okay, so now we don't even have to count. We're just gonna crochet 
half doubles all the way up through the back loop only to this stitch marker. And when we get to this stitch marker, we're going to place three half double crochets into that stitch. Okay, so here we go. Half double crochet, back loop only, all the way up. Okay, 15. Here we are at our stitch marker, so I'm gonna take that out for a second. We're gonna do in uh, three stitches in the back loop only of that peak where we had our stitch marker. One, two, three. Okay, go ahead and mark that middle one again. Now we're gonna make our way back down to the next valley. So when we get to the next stitch marker, the purple one, we're going to do a decrease. All right, we've arrived at our stitch marker. So beginning with where that stitch marker is, we're going to half double crochet three together for the valley. One, two, three. We're gonna mark that again, and off we go up to our next peak. Here we are at our next stitch marker. I'm gonna place three half double crochets into that back loop. One, two, three. Okay, mark that middle one and back down to our next valley. All right, here we are arriving at the purple stitch marker, the valley. And we're gonna take that out. Half double crochet three together. One, two, Mark that one. And back up to the last peak. All right, last peak, here we are. Stitch marker out for a second. Three half double crochets in the back loop of that peak stitch. Two, three. Place that stitch marker in the middle of those three. And here we go, down to the end. So remember, if you aren't counting, do you remember that you're going to stop short of the final two stitches of this last section because you're gonna half double crochet those together. So on your last section, just half double crochet, back loop only, up until the final two stitches. All right, so we have made it down to our final two stitches of the row. This is why I use stitch markers because it's just so much easier for me to keep track. I'm also gonna change colors right now that, so that you can see how to do a color change if you need help with that. So I'm gonna bring in pink. So you always do your color change during your very last stitch of the previous row. So rows one and two are blue. Row three and four I'm gonna do in pink. So as I do my last stitch, I'm gonna take my stitch marker out. So my last stitch is gonna be a half double crochet decrease. Okay, so you pull through. And before you do your final yarn over and pull through, whoops, <laughs> that's, when you're gonna in, that's when you're going to introduce your next color. So half double crochet, let me do that again here. Instead of pulling through my final stitch with that same color, this is where I'm gonna pull in my pink. So you're just gonna replace your working yarn in the back in your hand with your new color. Drop the blue and pull through on that final stitch with the pink, okay? And then you're going to chain with the pink or with whichever color you're using, kind of pull those tight. And now you've got two rows complete and you're going to, well, we did the chain one, you're gonna turn and start the next row. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip my blue at this point, leave it 
enough room for you to um, weave in those ends. Okay, turn your work. Let's take a look at what we've got here. You can start to see the beautiful ribbed texture that this fabric is taking. So you've got your peaks and your valleys. Three chevrons. Okay, looking good. So I'm gonna do two more rows together with you. I'll go a little bit faster on this one because I think you're getting the hang of it. But I want you to see how fun it is when you see the color change coming. Let me get my pink yarn kind of ready over here. All right, so we've got our chain one. We turned. So to start row three, we are half double crocheting two together through the back loop only. So there's our half double crochet two together. I'm just gonna mark it. All right, and off we go. Half double crochet, back loop only, all the way up to our peak green stitch marker. Okay, here we are back at our peak on row three. I'm gonna place three half double crochets into that peak, back loop only. Okay, mark that middle stitch and down to the valley. Back loop only, half double crochet. Okay, I've reached my valley here my purple stitch marker half double crochet three together through the back loop one two three mark that and back up we go okay here we are at the final two stitches of the row so take your stitch marker out and half double crochet through the back loop only these last two stitches together. Chain one and turn. All right, I'm gonna do this final row together with you and then we'll talk about pom-poms and I will let you on your way to keep working on your blanket. So uh, row four, so half double crochet two together to start. stitch marker and half double crochet back loop only up to this green stitch marker. So I think you can see at this point why I'm not doing the entire blanket with you. You have valuable time and we don't need to sit and do the entire blanket together because it is just this one row repeat. I just wanted you to feel comfortable and confident with some help getting the hang of the repeat. And after three or four rows, you're gonna feel really comfortable with it. So I hope that's where you're feeling right now. All right, we've reached the peak. So we're gonna place three half double crochets into that peak. Push the stitch marker through that second stitch of those three. Half double crochet, back loop only, back down to the valley. And as we come down to our final two stitches of this row four, we're going to half crochet them together. As such, okay. So I'm going to go and chain, I'm going to place a locking stitch marker in that one. Because these other ones do come out if you do a lot of moving around. So you're going to, um, when you come back to weave in all your ends, just to clean it up, just pull nice and firmly on the colors, at the color changes, and tie them off. I, I knotted them off. Um, and just using your tapestry needle, just weave all of those in. All right, so let me see if I can show you where we're at here. Isn't that so pretty? I love these colors so much. This color combination was actually an accident. I was trying to 
find a color for, I think it was the jellyfish pattern that I have, the omigurumi pattern that I have, and I had a whole bunch of yarn that I had thrown all in one pile, and this color of pink, this color of blue, and then a natural color all ended up like in the pile next to each other, and I looked at it and I was like, oh, I have to do something with those colors, and it just needed to be a baby blanket because I love how bright and fun the colors are. So, all right, so let's talk about pom-poms real quick, and then I will let you go. So, I have a video tutorial on how to make pom-poms, so I'm not gonna do that in this one. I will add a link to that video tutorial, which is in the resource library on my website. I'll put the link in the description box below so you can go figure out how to make pom-poms if you need help. I use the same yarn that I used for the blanket. I used this cotton yarn, and basically I just make enough for each of the peaks on each side or each of kind of the pointy ends of the chevron blanket. So that is all I have for you for the Jabble Chevron Blanket. I really appreciate you crocheting with me. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please press the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to join our website off thebeatenhook.com for lots of free patterns, video tutorials, and tons of downloadable essential crochet resources. Happy hooking!